Have you ever wanted to create a professional looking front panel such as this for your RV or boat? I'll show you how to do this for around $25. It'll be something you're proud of saying you did. The first step in creating your panel is you have to go to www.frontpanelexpress.com and then go to the download uh, tab and download the special software that allows you to design your panel. Once you get that downloaded, then you can uh, design the panel any way you see fit. Once you have the software installed, then you can start designing your panel. Of course, you need the dimensions that you want to make the panel. As well, you need the exact cutouts that you need for things like switches, LEDs, or other components so that you can get a real nice fit of these components and a professional result of your panel. The easiest way to do this is to download spec sheets for all the components you want to put into your panel as often they have the exact dimensions needed. For example, the 651 switches that I'm using in the spec sheets show the exact dimensions for the cutout in, in this particular one that depends on the panel thickness. After you complete your design, you can order your front panel right from the software and it usually takes about one to two weeks for it to arrive in the mail. Okay, so about after a week, I got a little package in the mail here um, from Front Panel Express. They always give you some little gummy bear things in the receipt. But anyway, here's the uh, final product. So nice and packaged real well, all nice and sealed in here. So we'll uh, go from here. Okay, so this has got a little uh, tear-off thing. We'll, uh, tear this open. And this is, a, you know, I think two millimeters is, I think, what I specified this. Real nice and thick uh, aluminum. Um, now, when I did the lettering, um, I had them do it without any fill-in. And you can get these uh, little... Uh, uh, ink pen kind of things that'll fill this stuff in. Well, here's what I'm talking about. It's actually called fill-in paint. They're lacquer paint sticks and I don't know how they keep them drying out but basically you just buy the color you want and you just uh, rub that across uh, the uh, engraving here and then you can fill it in with any color you want. However, I'm not going to show you how to do that because I don't want to change the color. Um, the natural uh, aluminum on the backing of the etching is fine enough for me. Uh, this thing ended up costing, I think, around $22, maybe $27 with shipping, UPS shipping. So, really, it's not that expensive. Uh, if you buy them in quantity, of course, the cost would go down, but you can buy these in a quantity one. So, for the hobbyist or, uh, you know, project person, this is a really great uh, thing to have. Now I did uh, put my uh, company name on here, uh, althephoto.com. Doesn't really have anything to do with uh, motorhomes, but you know I felt that it needed something. So when you lay these out um, on the software, you have to be pretty exact here on the dimensions, and the best way to get that is whatever uh, switches you're going to put in here or whatever anything you put in here. Uh, most manufacturers have spec sheet that'll tell you um, you know what size these cutouts should be. So I followed that with these particular switches. Um, these are Carling switches and uh, they're uh, series 651 so and they're just on off single post thing or throw switches. So let's see if that'll fit in here. And by gosh it does. And I mean it is really nice and tight. You know, no wiggling, no loose. Boy, there's one. And I suppose what I probably should have done is measure this to find out if this is the on position or if this is the on position. But you can take uh, a little pair of pliers and open these up if you have to. So we're going to assume the top two are the on position. And there you have it. This is going to go for the um, 
in my AV center so that I can turn the antenna amplifier and the video switch on and off, uh, which can help in you know boondocking situations and stuff, so that you're not using battery power that you don't need to. But I have to tell you, you know, for uh, the twenty-two dollar cost of the switch and or the plate and these switches were about a buck a piece. I mean, that's a nice professional-looking job. And uh, let me see if I can increase the. Uh, Exposure here. There we go. That looks a little better. So you can you can see a better idea here now of how the switch looks. So uh, that should be a interesting way to make a project, uh, and you can make something that you'd be proud of uh, having on uh, your RV or boat or whatever you want to make. Uh, thanks for watching.